This is going to be my third video on vector shift as I truly love how easy and simple it is to automate workflows with the help of AI on vector shift. I use this platform to automate my emails, automated customer chat flows, and now today I'm going to be showcasing how to create an AI chatbot in under five minutes. And this is without touching any sort of code. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the Brother Bay AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at VectorShift and showcasing how you can create an AI chatbot under five minutes. Now this chatbot I'm going to be creating is a simple chatbot for my channel where people can ask questions on relevant information about my channel or my videos. So first things first, you want to go over to the VectorShift.ai website, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. You want to click on get started. You want to create an account. Once you have created an account, it will then send you over to the pipeline dashboard where you're going to be creating this chatbot. So let's get started. What you want to do is click on this new button over here and we're going to be clicking on the create pipeline from scratch. But you can see that there's various other templates that you can get started with to automate your workflow. So we're going to click this button over here to create our pipeline from scratch. We're going to put in an input node and we're going to be putting in an output node. These two nodes are quite foundational for our workflow as these are the two backbones of our automation. So once you have inputted this, we can then head over to the knowledge base and then we can input a knowledge node. This is where we're going to be inputting our context so that it's going to be providing relevant context whenever you're chatting with our chatbot. Now to save some time, I basically already formulated my knowledge base. To do so, you can just simply click on create new knowledge base, give it a name, a description, tweak the advanced settings, and then you can feed it your data or whatever file type you would like to update. But in this case, I'm going to showcase my knowledge base by showcasing all the links that I've provided as well as the documents. If you are to click on add documents, you can see that there's various other file types that you can work with. Git, archive, YouTube videos, Wikipedia, recursive URLs, URL in general, or other sort of file types. But if you click on integrations, you can see that you can add various third-party integrations such as Google Drive. You have Google Docs. Notion, Slack, and so many other options. And once you have done that, you can then simply just click on save, and then you're going to be ready to get started with the creation of your chatbot. So once this is done, you can then head over to the LM. You can add in whatever LM node that you want. So you can work with whatever large language model. You can work in Anthropic as well as open source models. So once you have inputted this, we're going to be now creating a system prompt as well as a ge generic system instruction. So I went along and gave it a system prompt where the large language model will be a helpful chatbot for my YouTube channel and it's going to basically answer questions on the context that I provided and if it doesn't know an answer it's going to respond I do not know it. Now what we're going to be doing is connecting all of these nodes. So I'm going to create a prompt that will connect the question. So whenever a question is inputted to the input node by a user it will then be sent to the large language model which will then be connected to the knowledge base. So then I'll create a context and then I'll create a chat memory so that there's going to be a chat memory system that will then reference prior context to have future generation efficiently answer the question better. And there we go. I have it so that whenever a question is inputted, it will then be sent to the large language model, which will then reference the context that is uploaded, which is our knowledge base. And then it will also even take a look at our chat memory from prior conversations that have been made. So now let's actually test this out. So what you want to do is click on the run button. Once that is done, you can then deploy as a chatbot or an automation. So in this case, if you're deploying as a chatbot, you can give it a name. I'm going to give it world of AI chatbot, give it a description. Once that is done, you can just simply click save and then you can go through the functionality. And this is where you can add more functionalities to it by giving it a name, changing the assistant type, showcasing a welcome image and just configuring the basic overall chatbot. Now, if you go down a little bit, you're able to even style it so that it could have different colors and different accents. Now, you can also export this so that you can open this chatbot up in a URL. You can inputted this into another workflow by copying the widget code where you can export this and embed it into your website for example and then in this case you can ask it questions so i can ask it what is world of ai and within a couple of seconds it's going to give me a good dedicated answer on what my channel is it is going to showcase and reference through the context that i've provided and you can see that i was able to simply create this chatbot under five minutes 
And that's basically a gist of what vector shift is. I truly recommend that you take a look at this. I'll reference all the links in the description below so that you can access it right away. Make sure you check out the Patreon page if you want to access our private subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.